Have you or someone you know been told that you have an ovarian cyst? Um, if you have, it wouldn't be necessarily unusual. Um, cysts, and I'm going to tell you what ovarian cysts are, by the way, in this video, uh, the symptoms, uh, how we diagnose them, uh, some of the treatments, etc. But just so you know, a cyst in general is a fluid-filled sac. In the case of an ovarian cyst, it's a fluid-filled sac that usually develops in or on the ovaries. Now, this is a thing. Ovarian cysts are actually pretty common in women who have regular periods. They are less common, however, after menopause. There's many different types of ovarian cysts, and uh, honestly, the most common types of ovarian cysts are called functional cysts, by the way. They form as a result of the menstrual cycle. Usually, these are benign, which means they're not cancerous, which, by the way, is a good thing. And honestly, you often may not even know you have one unless it's found on, say, a pelvic exam or on imaging or things like that. And often, these cysts, to be honest with you, many of them shrink over time without specific treatment. Now, let's go back though, because I did say that ovarian cysts, they come in different types. There are other types of cysts, including cancerous ones, although the cancerous ovarian cysts tend to be rare, and those tend to be more common in older women. But it brings me back to this point that, um, you know, regardless, ovarian cysts really should be checked out by your doctor. If someone's told you that you have an ovarian cyst or whatever, or, uh, or you're worried that you have one, or you have symptoms, or, or anything, make sure that your doctor is checking you out, um, make sure that you're seeing your OBGYN. And that's honestly at any age. I would also say if you have any symptoms, and by the way, let's talk about symptoms, okay? Most ovarian cysts are small and they don't cause symptoms. But if a cyst does cause symptoms, you can have things like pressure, pelvic pressure. You might have bloating, you might feel swollen, or you might have pain in your lower abdomen on the side of the cyst, pelvic pain. Um, and sometimes this pain may be sharp or dull, and honestly, it can come and it can go. Now, other things can happen too. Sometimes a cyst ovarian cyst can rupture, and if this happens, it can cause sudden severe pain. I've seen this in my patients. Sometimes uh, the ovaries can actually twist as a result of the ovarian cyst, and this can cause severe symptoms as well. Uh, honestly, for these conditions, medical care is needed right away, which brings me back to what I said before. You know, look, if you've got any unusual symptoms, and I say this with anything, guys, uh, abdominal pain, pelvic pain, severe pain, regardless of whether you think you know what it is or not, make sure you are seeing your doctor. Now, how do we diagnose uh, ovarian cysts? Well, sometimes they're found incidentally, like on pelvic exams or on ultrasounds that maybe we sometimes are doing for other things. Uh, sometimes other procedures can find them. And, you know, treatment ranges. Uh, and, and this is, again, this is a 50,000 foot overview of, um, uh, of ovarian cysts. So this is not the whole nitty gritty, but just a 50,000 foot overview. Um, but the treatment really depends on what's going on, the type of cyst, the patient, et cetera. Uh, the treatment can range from things like what we call watchful waiting, sort of monitoring it, to uh, giving the patient medications, to surgery, to other options as well. Uh, the bottom line is that ovarian cysts really should be evaluated by your doctor, just making sure that everything's okay. Uh, but understand that most ovarian cysts um, are benign and often related to your period. Either way, you got to make sure you're seeing your doctor to make sure that this applies to you. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator. Please subscribe to my channel, click the little bell for updates. Um, also, please uh, go to drjencarl.com for my free health newsletter and other offerings. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen. I'll see you soon.